Hello children, live from my mother's basement. Even though that's light there, ignore that light. No matter of fact, tell yourself whatever you want to believe. Yes, I'm in my mother's basement. This very bright, non-older woman looking place is not my own. It's definitely, it's my mom's basement, if it makes you feel better. So you can also tell yourself a whole host of other lives, like I'm fat and I'm ugly and I can't get any, whatever, whatever you gotta tell yourself about me, you, you believe whatever you want, so. Another video request, ladies and gentlemen, this one comes from Nick, and Nick writes, Hi Aaron, it's great to talk to you again. I still watch your videos, didn't finish book two yet, and I think highly of you. Book two, there's like five, come on, let's go here. It's I would like for you to do a YouTube video warning ladies that, other dis that another disadvantage of having children is having to help them with their homework, go to parent-teacher conferences, dealing with lazy kids, hell the parent is lazy too, and or the depression that comes from uh, with having an ADD or learn I, LD, I assume learning disabled child who just doesn't get it. Brian, this may make me get the snip after all. Let me know how much you charge your PayPal neck. Well, I, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's. See, I don't, <laughs> I didn't think I was being anything particularly smart or brilliant. Taking note of how much it costs to raise kids, especially when I was a kid and notice how, you know, I knew math. I knew enough that I'm talking like when I was five, I could figure out almost division where there wasn't a lot of money between me and the remaining four members of my family. So I don't understand how people can't foresee the true costs and resources that would be consumed in raising a child. And I'm not just talking money, I'm talking time, I'm talking love, sweat, toil, tears, everything, worrying, fretting. Um, people my age are now starting to have kids and I, I you know, and I, every once in a while I pinch hit and kind of watch over a kid here or there. And I'm worried to death that the damn thing's gonna bash its head into a corner because it's just the right height of a, of a of a, a table, coffee table. I'm thinking, well, why don't we sand down so it's, you know, put rubber stoppings or something like this. Uh, so, it's, and it's nonstop. It doesn't end. These, these things need constant freaking attention. So I'm just like in it for like 30 minutes while the other babysitter goes and runs and guys say, hey, whoa, take, take the fuck back over. I do not want the, you know, hey, I'm, I've done my Lord's work for the year. And uh, so I know without breeding and fornicating, I know in advance how much a kid costs uh, in terms of, of just what it takes to raise it. I'm finding out many people aren't. <laughs> and I was thinking like, oh really, come on Nick, you think people don't know? It's like, yeah, you know what, they don't. So let's let's talk to the, and the men, because this isn't just the ladies here. Um, I think it was uh, intending, in, intending this to be like single moms who think they can do it all and totally underestimate the education of the child, which is what uh, Nick's question themes around. But any single parent, or any parent in general, because frankly, I don't care. It's the trend nowadays to outsource the kids to school, to daycare. That the education is not part of the parents, whether they're married or not. I've seen it, and it's it's disgusting. It's gross. I I mean, there there's very few people I hate more as a group than parents who outsource their parenting to a nanny or a daycare operation, while both the parents decide that their career is more important than their child. It's just they're mo the most selfish, disgusting, despicable people. Um, so I'm, let's not sing all single mothers and let's not sing all single fathers. Let's sing all out American and Western parents who love this fucking fad of spitting out a child, thinking like, oh, hey, you know, it's like, hey, it's like buying Sergeant Ruppy Fluffalo. It's just like that. We don't need it. In fact, it's just a kid, you know. This little thing, the little angry bird, it's not, you know. Imagine if those were two infants I just tossed. That's how most American parents view their kids. It's like, oh, it's something, oh, it's cute, hang on, let me go. Oh, isn't he so cute, he's so cute. Look at him, let's take pose, yeah, fuck it. You know, it's just the fucking thing, it's for me. So, that was my American parent impersonation. Anyway, let's directly address uh, Nick's uh, specifics. Um, homework, <coughs> yes. Ladies, men, everyone, you see, um, your primary goal as a parent is not to be BFS with your children, it is to raise them to become functioning, self-supporting uh, adults. And if you don't want them moving back in at the age of 30 or being a constant financial drain where they need you to constantly pay their credit card bills, pay for their car insurance, pay, 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 
uh, or they run stupid businesses and you got to bail them out. If you don't want that happening, well, that starts with education and you also have to help your kid with the homework, you see. And I know you got back from a hard day and I know you commuted. Fucking sucks to be you. You get to spend an hour a night with your kid making sure they get A's and B's, right? You know those... Those tiger Asian moms, we all make fun of them. What? Oh, what an evil bitch she is. Yeah, those kids are um, not going to move back home. There's um, a Hmong family in St. Paul, and they're gaining notoriety because I believe the, their parents came over in the 70s. Poor as hell. And their children, I think there's four or five of them in the St. Paul public schools, all of the kids are their valedictorian in the respective grades. These these Hmong kids are just dominating. Look it up. Those parents told them, there is no Bs. You, you are expected to get A's, right? Because they actually love their children enough to want to make sure that they study hard and succeed and have a good and better life than they did. So that's, um, that's what we got with the homework there. Um... You know what? Another thing about homework? Too bad if you don't remember it, you get to reteach it to you. You get to you get to study, you get to figure it out yourself. And you gotta understand it so you can explain it to your kid. That's another thing. Or you get to go pay a tutor. I understand if you don't earn you know, maybe math wasn't your strong suit. Maybe English like me wasn't your strong suit. No, then you gotta get a tutor. I mean, that costs money too. Whatever it is, you gotta make sure that your kid, I mean, today, it's, it, you gotta almost, I'd say, have to have straight A's. You gotta have a 3.5 GPA. Um, unfortunately, childhood is gone. You, well, we've all made everyone get a master's degree. You can teach them wise things too, like career, sit them down, give them guidance and advice and wisdom about um, careers, you know, trades and all that. But that assumes you yourself are smart enough to do it. Because if you're like fucking, well, I'm a, it's not to pick on hair salons, but let's just go with hair salons. You haven't really thought about, well, how do I set up an LLC? And what, what it, you know, there's no accounting. There's no, you got to make sure your kid has better than what you got. So, um, career counselor, I don't know, have them be worthless, bachelor pad economics, I wrote the books, you know, not, not for a four-year-old kid, but uh, that's where your homework is, you are preparing them for the real world. So you gotta spend a lot of time on that because I guarantee you in the long run, if you don't tra uh, train them right, you don't treat them right or educate them, help them do well in school, you're gonna spend a lot more time and money dealing with the aftermaths and carrying their ass through life uh, because they're not independent, self-reliant adults. Um, involved in their education, parent-teacher conferences. Uh, yeah, you got to go talk to your, you, you got to deal with the public schools. You got to go sit in. You got to talk to the, the teachers, see what's going on. You also, um, you know, you got to find out if the teachers are okay. Um, or maybe you're an asshole. Maybe you're a bad parent. Because here's, I don't like teachers, but uh, I'm no dummy. Teachers today are cut from the same cloth as the parents of the kids that they're teaching. Uh, in other words, Gen X and Millennials are all now teachers. You know what? Everyone pretty much fucking sucks in, this, in these two generations. So it could be bad parents, it could be bad teachers, it could be both. If you're a good parent, you got to find out and take the criticism of what your teacher's trying to tell you. And, and there are good teachers out there and some of them are trying their best. So if they have issues with little Jimmy and Jimmy's acting out, you got to crack the whip on little Jimmy. If you're the teacher or you're the parent always sides with your kid because your kid is oh so brilliant and beautiful. Ah, uh, no, that's, that's again throwing the buffalo. You're not raising the buffalo. You're just tossing it like a buffalo stuffed animal. Um, so, yeah, you got to go to school activities because your, that's your kid's job. And if you're going to take a vested interest in your child's job, his or her career, that's school. How was school? Oh, do you have a school activity? And, then, you know, <laughs> I think a lot of people take it to the extreme where, None of your parents tell your kids, no, they got to do soccer, then they got to do football, then they got to do dance, then they got to do debate, they got to do lovely things. Um, yeah, uh, you could you could participate way too much, but it's still a time commitment. You're still, especially until like you get that eldest son or eldest daughter that turns 16 and can finally drive the other kids around and be the chauffeur. Yeah, until that time, you're the chauffeur. And unless you want to have your kids just sit at home doing nothing, you better take them to one or two school activities, each kid. So uh, that's time involved. Oh yeah, you know, like how you wanted to go play poker with the guys or have coffee or wine tasting with the girls. No, 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 you got kids now. That's your primary. You get to go watch play that you don't care about. You get to go and watch them play peewee soccer, whatever it is that, that, hey, you brought them into this world. You can't just send them to school and not keep them mentally, uh, have a little bit of fun or entertainment. Uh, and then, oh yeah, the kid who has ADD, LD. I, I don't really know if I believe in ADD and LD. I did tutor. And what it boils down to is kids just being so damn lazy and then they're pushed through the school system 
they don't master this is especially true math they don't master what they needed to and like you know if you can't do multiplication if you can't do your multiplication tables you're not going to be able to do division or algebra and i remember i was doing this gal in the ninth grade she didn't know her multiplication tables so when it came time to doing like long division or lengthy multiplication or anything where I think it was like she really didn't know beyond six times six, like it was six times seven, she didn't know that. Um, and then it showed and you could narrow, precisely narrow. And you know what? It wasn't that she didn't try or, or it wasn't that she, she was incapable or she was, uh, had a mental problem or a learning disability. She's just lazy. No one held her to that standard. And the parents were also too busy both running careers, no one had time to, you know, sit down and, you know, no, let's tutor, 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 let's get to the outsource it. Well, also, you know, you got to instill morals in your kid. If your kid is just not going to do it because you've now never held them to standards, they don't know something like, you must do this. This is a responsibility. This is an obligation. There is no not doing it. There is no failure. If you install, instill that in your kids, uh, your kids are just going to, well, everything's optional. And, you know, and then that's what you got. You got a 14, 15 year old kid who can't do multiplication tables. And uh, Lord, good Lord, I don't know what you're going to do with a career uh, down the road. I, I don't know how you're going to, what you're going to do. I only have a major in philosophy, major in something that doesn't have math. So then now you as a parent get to pay for their student loans and they still can't find a job. But now, hey, at least you, you torpedoed your um, retirement finances by paying for your kid's worthless degree because, you know, he or she couldn't do basic multiplication tables. Um, so, yeah, there's, in general, here's the deal. You're raising a future adult. That's your goal, is to get a future adult independent, up and running, so that it, male or female, can survive in the real world without you. If you're too busy or inconvenienced by that, that you got to go outsource it, or just not do it in the first place, don't have a kid. Really don't have a kid. And if, if you're like, well, I don't want to do it, but I already have a kid. Well, sucks to be you. Your life is over. Um, you know, it, it, it's an issue of selfishness or selflessness and altruism. Do you really love your kid? If you do, you're going to admit that that kid had no say as to whether or not it was brought into this world. Not only did you fornicate, you carried it to term and you had it. Now, you and the mother or the father, whoever, has an obligation to that innocent soul to raise it so it can function competently in this environment. And if that's too much for you, tough shit. If it is too much for you, if you don't want to do it, then you're a selfish, lazy, greedy asshole. You're an asshole, and not like a fake asshole like me, where I give hard fatherly, you know, advice that people don't like. They call me an asshole, but they like me down the road, and like Gordon Ramsay show. Uh, no, you're a genuine, despicable person. You're an inferior person. You're, you, you are. I'd say you're evil. I'd say you, you, you value yourself more than your own kid, which unfortunately is many people nowadays. But you know, hey, it, <laughs> as I addressed before. I don't even think people give two thoughts about having a kid. I think they just fuck and they spit out kids. And then they worry about the finances and why is things so tough and the government come help me and what I got to... It's like Bender from uh, Futurama where he adopts all these kids because he learns he can get government checks. And they all go up to Bender like, Daddy, Bender, we're hungry. He's like, what? Again? What do you guys all eat or something? You got to eat it. Like, did you just eat three days ago? <laughs> But at least Bender has the excuse of being a robot. You guys are humans. You should know this. But now, you know, it's, uh, we don't need to raise our kids. So anyway, hope you learned a little bit of something about your obligation to helping your kids get their homework done and preparing them for the real world. Toodles.